Peter, so tell, tell us about the opportunities to dynamically insert advertising into live sports programming and what that opportunity is and what you guys are doing. Yeah, for us in Germany, this is really groundbreaking because uh, so far we didn't monetize the linear live streams of Bundesliga and Champions League. And with dynamic ad insertion technology, we are about to, to do that. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's quite a complex uh, project, but uh, it gives us a lot of uh, uh, new media inventory, um, especially in our premium content of Bundesliga and Champions League. So uh, this is something um, pioneering, and uh, yeah, we, we're very keen on um, starting that. So what's not to get too into ad ops or sort of the mechanics of it, why is it so hard and why haven't you done it and how, co how can you do it now? Um, I think why is it hard? Um, it's because uh, it's something new and complex and, it, it, and I think it's five or six systems that are involved and so everything has to, to run very smoothly um, and a lot of interfaces that have to be done and uh, yeah, it's something new. And um, you really have to test it that it works perfectly. And I think that's the big challenge. So will it be different advertisers or will the same advertiser buy across the screens or is it a little early to say? Um, well, actually, of course, we want to want to sell uh, the inventory also to the TV clients. Um, but now as we have gained something like 15% of the usage of the whole program, on the OTT platform, we want advertisers to pay for that because um, you know once it was only two or three percent on top, it was okay. But um, now um, with fifteen percent, um, advertisers just have to um, have to pay their share. And Peter, what about the issue of um, metrics and counting and reporting? Uh, you know, with the big TV, it seems a little bit more simple. With the linear feed, what is is, is are the metrics there for you now? Um, well, I mean, first of all, we have a free will ad server there, and, and, and this one is counting pretty accurate what, what we're delivering. Um, so, um, well, I mean, I think uh, we, are, we are a lot more accurate in the digital world than in the, um, in the TV world. Cool. And tell us a little bit about the digital efforts around Sky in Germany, where that stands, and kind of a little bit of a progress report? Um, I mean, as I said, in sports, dynamic ad insertion is for us a big, big project. Um, we also have um, uh, two things we announced at, at DMEXCO. Um, that is, first of all, uh, we are um, launching a free-to-air channel, um, Sky Sport News, um, in Germany in December. And for that, there will also be a linear live stream. And the second is that we are um, going to launch uh, a German sport portal. Um, which is combining live sports, um, highlights, editorial program and all that, uh, which is something unique in Germany. And Sky is about to become some kind of home of sports in Germany. Cool. And uh, speaking to your broadcasters or speaking to your colleagues here at Cologne at this Freewheel Conference, <laughs> what are some of the interesting topics that you've heard or you would like to have answered? Um, well, I think one very, uh, very interesting thing, of course, is programmatic and uh, the fact that Freeville acquired sticky ads um, could give us some new opportunities. Um, but uh, but we, are, we haven't defined our programmatic strategy completely, so, so that's still in the flow so far. Great. And the, um, the future of TV? It's, uh Pretty bright, I would think, huh? Um, I would say yes. I mean, what we also did, uh, because we talked a lot about sports, but uh, also in fiction, we have something very revolutionary now um, as we uh, connected the ad server to our setup box, which means that we now are doing the first step in the direction of addressable TV, and uh, we're showing um, ad server um, served um, ads on the big TV screen. This is something for us really revolutionary. The quality is brilliant. And um, yeah, I think this will give us um, another big opportunity to, um, to monetize video on demand.